Hi there, this is Jason Cacho with the Bay Area News Group, and this is Gamester, the most enthusiastic video game show on the internet. And as you can tell, I have an awesome machete with me, and that's because I've been spending a virtual vacation in an island resort called Benoit. And those thinking that, you know, you go to an island resort to have fun in the sun, well, Benoit isn't it. You go there to kill the undead. Dead Island is a first-person zombie game. It's plain and simple. It's developed by Techland and published by Deep Silver. And for those thinking that the game will look as good as the trailer, you guys are idiots. I mean, come on. You're the, that's like saying the Big Mac you get at the restaurant is going to look exactly like the Big Mac in the commercials. That's just not true. But with Dead Island, it's lush, it's bloody as hell, and there's moments where it's just full of gorgiosity. Is that a word? Players choose among four characters. They each have their own specialties and their own stats, much like an RPG. You have like ranged fighters or close-in tank fighters. It all works really well. Everyone has their own strategy to combat zombies. I mean, if I'm a tank, I would go into a narrow passageway so I don't get overwhelmed. But if I'm a ranged attacker, I'm like, I have to go from far away and just, you know, snipe them and shoot them from a safe distance, like on top of a car. It all works really well and it makes the combat interesting even though all you do is just kill zombies all the time. Where the combat works well is in the co-op. It lets the playable characters act in their defined roles. The tanks can take hits from zombies and keep them away from the ranged characters who are a little weaker but deal a lot more damage. All of this is very seamless. Players can go in and go out, drop in, drop out. It's all very easy to do and it helps especially when you're in a harder part of the game. It's all very instantaneous. What? I hope that hurt. So, uh, Dead Island. It has some really good hack and slash gameplay. It's very reminiscent of Diablo, where you kill zombies and you search their bodies and hoping to find a good item. It gets really addictive and you keep on wanting to kill zombies. You want to hack and slash them. You want to run them over. It's awesome. It's really, it's what makes the game fun. Now for the bad parts. The game does have its bug. It's not perfect. There are times when some, you'll have to reset the game because a quest doesn't work or you die in the middle of a quest and you get teleported to where you're supposed to be. It's all a little disorienting. On top of that, the story isn't that good. Actually, it's pretty much garbage. Zombie games can actually have really good stories. I mean, look at The Walking Dead or any of the John, early John Romero movies. There's a lot of potential for drama and for you to get attached to characters there, but Dead Island just doesn't do that. They just throw you in into the zombie apocalypse, and they don't really explain what's going on until like three quarters of the way through. And even then, it's sort of generic. It's a little trite. So I hate the main story, but what I really like are the side quests. They're really compelling. I mean, they don't do anything that well. It's the same fetch quests or kill that monster. But what they do, what Teclan does, is set, up them, set them up really well. You'll be running on on the main quest, and you'll see some guy at the side of the road, and you, help, you want to help the dude out, because, dude, it's a zombie apocalypse. Listen, I really like Dead Island, but there are a few things holding it back. First of all, there's the bugs. And then there's the overall main story, which isn't very compelling. But the core is really good, and for that, I will give the game three stars. This is Jason Cacho with the Bay Area News Group. Hey man, it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. You can just run them over, you can splash at them, you can impale them. You, it's awesome. And <laughs> I'm sounding like a fanboy here, aren't I? Oh, Jesus.